been a minute and I'm about to do what if you are South Asian, I apologize in advance, it's going to be an abomination. But I got an idea from there's this guy uh, I follow who I love a chef on um, Instagram and he did a sushi pizza, which apparently originated in um, Toronto. And he kind of, um, he makes it crispy. I'm sure he's using glutinous rice, which I don't have, but I made rice yesterday. I made some basmati. I'm about to make it stick together with some egg. It's reminiscent of something my dad did uh, years ago, like 40 years ago that we still give him a hard time about, which we call the rice balls, which were an abomination. I'm about to do my own version of it. I'll keep posted. So in retrospect, I wonder if I could have done this with, this egg in here, by the way, and this is already cooked um, rice. So this is egg, a little bit of salt, and some green onions. And then I sauteed, and what I was wondering if I could do instead was um, a yogurt. Um, this is sweet potatoes because I wanted a little bit of sweetness. So I sauteed that um, with the green you see in here are curry leaves. Once again, thanks Herb's mom. Um, some onion. Uh, it smells amazing is what it smells. I didn't have any fresh ginger, so there is um, um, powder, you know, ginger. That's not ginger, but there's ginger. Uh, there we go. Ginger. Ha! Uh, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, cayenne pepper, like all of that. It smells amazing. I'm going to throw in some chickpeas um, and a little bit of green, so I'm going to throw in some, some kale. And then I'm going to form it, and then we're going to cook it some kind of way. I was thinking patties, but now I'm not sure that's gonna be a thing. Oh, well, I'll let you know how it goes. So this is it all stirred up. Now, if I had known that this is what it was gonna look like, I would have done this more like a tot egg, and so I wouldn't have done it with egg. I would have done it with, um, uh, I would have done it with some of the yogurt, like Greek yogurt on the bottom part of the rice, and then put everything else on top, and then I would have done it on the stove top. I may still do it on the stove top, but the egg is gonna be, a, that's gonna jack that up. So I need to see maybe in a bigger skillet than what I originally planned might be the key to this. So yeah, we'll see. Voila, so this either needs more egg or some other kind of binding. I'm gonna taste and see how it tastes. If it tastes good, what I'm gonna do is change technique altogether and do it, as I mentioned, more like, um, like how I do totting, where the rice is kind of parboiled um, ahead of time, rinsed, mixed with whatever I'm gonna mix it with. Um, the bottom layer has um, some Greek yogurt in it, and then you slow cook it on the stove top, turning it every 15 minutes um, to make sure it gets like a nice brown on the bottom. But in the meantime, I'm gonna taste this and see um, if it at least tastes good, and if that's worth like the trouble that I have now thought through. Since I was doing this blind, I could definitely up um, the seasoning some. Ooh, but uh, the curry leaf, the curry leaves in there, nice. Um, so yes, I'm gonna play with this. I will do this again. I need to remind myself um, that this is a nice little flavor bomb on my mouth. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, and the crunchy. This would be so good to the tate. Oh my God. So, note to self. Um, in the meantime, what I think I'm going to do is I have the oven preheating. I'm going to oil it well, put everything in, smash it down, kind of like I was doing with the tate, and then bake it and give it like 15, 20 minutes. And with all the rest of it in there and see how that does. I mean, it may give me some of the crunchy that I'm craving for the tate, but also I don't feel like standing on the stove to and it didn't even turn out like a nice pretty little package though. Anyway, this is delightful. I hope you're having something delightful too.